<clears throat> okay people we're back I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this uh, trunk out here it's pretty severely etched so once I get it out I'm gonna get it all sanded down and we'll get it all ship shape it's making it kind of hard to drag the blade through it because it's worked its way into the trunk lines so we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do here I'm assuming this trunk lid is going to be just a tad wider than the kit piece because that's how the hood fits so I'm assuming this is going to be the same thing. Yeah it's starting to fill up with junk in there. Not much you can do about it. We'll do the best we can and if I have to turn around I will. I like going in one direction only though. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, see I'm starting to come through now. See that? Right there. I went ahead and pro welded this all back together. Now, I'll go on there with the cutoff wheel, I'll straighten all this up, get rid of all this excess glue. Go ahead and remove that. Probably take a little plastic filler in there. That'll be alright. I'm not too worried about this body, so I'm just cutting right on by. Not much I can do because it started filling up because it was uh, cutting through. Do it a couple times, you'll, you'll be able to figure it out, feel it, know what's what. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the body on this one. Don't want to do it this way on the one you want to use, though. It's <laughs> wouldn't be good. You just create more work. So try to plan it out. It's probably the number one key here. I really didn't plan it out. I mean, I did a little bit, and basically, what I do is just wing it and go from there. So we'll see if we can bring new life in this 67 fairly. I know I'm not using all the pieces, but the majority of it. Plus you guys get to see it, you know, unfold in front of you. So it's kind of kind of cool. Maybe how I'm doing something, maybe you can, you know, do it that way or by all means modify it a little. Um, I know people have cut out these trunk lines and door lines and stuff like that with string. Never tried it. Never tried it, so... That looks pretty good. Almost through. There we go. Now the tricky part is uh, the corners, at least this one's kind of squared. And on the 66 Galaxy, it goes across and then it cuts back a little. So you got to be really careful when you do them. Now I'll probably use a Dremel on that and I'll just file or sand the edges back on it. You know, I'll find it you know, right up to the trunk line. That way it all matches. Don't push too hard, you don't want to break the tip on the blade. Because then you still have to dig around it and it'll throw you off. It'll make everything so it don't fit. And I'm almost through on the back side here. Just about. I find the hardest part is talking and you know I'm doing this, but bear with me, we'll get it figured out. Okay. There's the back, it's all uh
basically it's all cut out to each side line. So let's go ahead and work on those. Try to go slow at first so you get the groove started. Because if you go too hard and you get a groove in it, you're never going to get it out. Oh, that's one thing I learned. So just go slow. Each little pass, you take a piece of. Now, probably when I do the 66 body, I'll do these side ones first. Because this way I can get right up in the corner. This way the blade will stop too. Because there'll be a, well, like a groove. I think this one's just about true. that side. <coughs> now I just got the other side to do. So I won't bore you with that side because we already did the back and the one side so give me a few and uh, shall return. Okay we're back. A um, little trick I uh, learned myself and that's to put a piece of tape because you'll be cutting from here down and that tape will be a stop. So, go ahead and watch as we go along here. Let me turn it down just a little bit. There you go. Yeah, okay, here we go. Easy strokes to get started. This way. This way you don't, less chance of it coming out of the little groove there. You put a nice slice in your good body that you need. Hear that slice? Means we're just about through. Plastic up today is just a little softer than, uh, you know, than a vintage kit. You know, look at that one, right on through. Nice light, nice light pressure. That's what you'll have. Right on through. Work on this edge down here a little bit. I kind of got carried away and uh, moved the tape, so that'll have to be uh, sanded out and a little filler. Nothing biggie. Nothing big. Well, this somewhat. This way you can file it up. These these corners are no fun. They're even harder to put back in. You know, if you didn't work and stuff, makes it tricky. There. That shouldn't be too, too bad. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab my razor saw. And uh, we'll go slice her right down. <coughs> 